Happy Monday, new week 9.3. This week marks the beginning of our journey into ancient Rome. That's chapter 9 in our social studies book. And we're learning about how the Romans took what they learned from the Greeks and made their own bigger and better empire. This week we are also beginning The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Jester. A copy of the book will be available to you on Google Classroom starting Wednesday. I'll make that available after we have our small group lesson at 11 a.m. where we go over some of the vocabulary and kind of get an intro into the book. So you can find that on Google Classroom on Wednesday. I also want to just go over very quickly some of the documents that I've shared with you today and some more that are coming later this week. I did want to go over with you guys a couple of things that were shared with you this week because there were a lot of things that were shared with you. Um, the first one being the 9.3 samples. Please make sure you're getting those done as soon as possible by Friday at the latest. Um, you may type right on here or if you like adding the picture you may add the picture but please make sure the picture is, I can read it right, it's, it's legible. Um, the other thing that we shared with you are, was the PE log for LP9 so you're welcome to start typing that in. Please make sure you add your name here while it's highlighted, the time that you complete the activity, your description, and then skills worked on, you just pick one of these right here. Please make sure that you um, have your recommended 800 minutes. Some people didn't have 800 minutes last LP and that affected their grade. Um, next week I'll add the learning log to the second portion of this page and then um, you can add your one PE assignment to that next week. The other thing that will be shared with you on Wednesday is our novel notebook for the Phantom Toll Booth. Um, you are going to just type directly onto this document because you'll see it will be labeled just for you. Um, if you don't mind picking a font that other than Times New Roman but that's legible like Shadow into Light, Arial, one of those that's easy to read. Please don't pick something like Lobster or Pacifico, um, something that's hard to read. But pick something that kind of looks like handwriting so I can tell where your answers begin. Um, you're going to type right onto here each time we read something. And as we read a new chapter, I'm going to add the second, third, fourth pages, and so forth. You'll have access to this on Wednesday. So if you don't see it today, that's because it's coming to you on Wednesday. This week we are doing our math quiz a little bit differently, so I also want to show you how to access that and how to complete it. You're not going to be needing to write a Google Doc this week. You'll just be answering right on it in Google Forms. Okay, so one thing that's different this week is the math quiz. So you know you can always find your assignments on the left side here. Um, let me push view all. And so we're taking quiz 12.1 this week. So when you um, go to your quiz, you're actually going to click on the Google form just like you did with the um, science one. So remember, you're not going to be typing on the Google document and then uploading your document. Your answers are just going to go right there into the Google form. So please make sure you do that and make sure that you submit it on time. This week in science we're looking at recycling and repurposing. Finding a new purpose for an old item. I have this soda can that my five-year-old daughter got a hold of. When you think about the original purpose of a soda can, it's to hold a beverage. But once you drink that beverage, the soda can doesn't really have a purpose anymore. So my daughter got a hold of it, decorated it, turned it into a little robot guy, right? So now its new purpose is to be her toy. That's exactly what we're doing in science this week, turning something that's no longer useful into something useful. Although you're going to do something a little bit more complicated since you're more than twice her age. And we're not going to physically build the project the way she did, we're actually just going to draw it out. The reason we're not physically building the projects is because I don't want you to be limited by the things that you can find. If you can think of it, you can do it. So if you can think of a way to repurpose tires or an old dumpster or a broken chair, that's great. Figure that new job out for it and draw it out on a piece of paper. Um, I'm going to show you very briefly how to access that assignment and its guidelines and also how to submit it this week. So for this week's science assignment, it can be found here um, in your assignments and it is repurposing for a purpose. And if you go to view details, you can see um, the guide, the directions here. So this just tells you what you need to um, do for your assignment. Like I talked about, we're making, we're turning something old into something new. We're not actually making the assignment, we're just um, creating a drawing of it. Okay, so here you see the directions. Over on this side where you normally submit work, you'll see that your name will be here on a Google Doc. Go ahead and click that and you'll have full access to the Google document. You'll also notice that the title includes your name, which you know I love. So you can actually edit on this document. This is how you're going to turn in your project to me. 
So you'll type your name there. You'll answer all the questions here, what have you. Once you answer all the questions, then you're going to upload a picture of your drawing. Remember, you don't actually have to build the project. You're just doing a colorful drawing for me. So that being said, your drawing should be neat, it should be detailed, it should be very clear what the thing is and how it's being used now. Um, if you can't take a clear picture, if you're too far away or it's too blurry, you can use a, one of your parents' devices. They can email me the picture and then I'll email it to you so you can insert it. Um, if you do go that route, make sure you get it to me by Friday, I'd say by 3 p.m. at the latest because I don't check my email after, you know, Friday evening, I, I don't check it anymore. So make sure you send it at an appropriate time. So once you have your picture, you're going to upload it here. Um, it should be, like I said, colorful, obvious what it's happening here. Um, and please make it a little larger than that so I can really get a full view and see what it should be. Um, and this is due on Friday by midnight, but please make sure if you need me help with the photo, you send it earlier than that because I won't check my email probably after 3 o'clock on Friday. So once you've answered all the questions, you've added your photo, then you're just going to go up here to this um, turn in button on the top right and push turn in, and then it will be sent directly to me. So there's nothing else you're going to have to do. Type your answers, upload your picture, push turn in, you are done. Of course, if you have questions, you can always email.